Okay, in this presentation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how to merge two tables with data table. Okay, so it's very familiar, uh, similar to the type of thing that you would have come across if you have any background with SQL. Uh, so um, inner joins, left joins, right joins, that sort of thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, so it's merging two tables. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do here is load up the library data table, and also I'm going to use Magritte a little bit as well. So I'm going to have that ready. So let's run that. That's a little bit of a blurb there about the general syntax for our data table. Uh, just sort of left in there, so I'm just going to leave it there. And okay, so let's scroll down a bit. No, uh, so what I'm going to do here. It's just fidgeting, fidgety. Okay, so actually I'm going to just put this into shot a bit better. Just scooch that up there. There we go. Make it a little bit easier to read. Okay, so merging table is very similar, and with data table is very similar to base or merge function. Okay, so data table makes the common key variable, uh, uh, takes the common key variable as a primary key to merge uh, two data sets. Okay. And whereas data frame takes common variable names. Okay. Little bit troublesome, I find. So what I'm going to do is very be very methodical about it. And, you know, essentially my attitude is don't leave yourself as hostage to fortune. So what I'm going to do here is just set up some data. Okay. And I'm going to deliberately give them data table one, which is the primary ID is ID. And then some numeric values, okay. And I'm going to specify key as ID. So that specifies the primary key as ID. Now I'm going to merge that with data table two, and I'm deliberately sort of going to change it to my ID. Uh, so it's the same sort of like it's notionally the same similar data, and it should merge up. But I'm going to give them different variable names, okay. So. The class of data table again is a, it's a data table or DT one. It's a data table with the properties of a data frame. Okay, and likewise for DT two. You know, okay. Uh, you can check out what the primary keys are now because we've actually specified the primary keys ID and my ID. Okay, and you can use the key command just to see that they're specified. Okay, now. I have it printed there so you can see them side by side, but I'm not going to go into that. So I'll just leave that aside. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is first off, start off with an inner join, which is it sort of returns all matching observations in both data sets. Okay. So if observations are in both data sets, it will appear here. Okay. So DT1 and DT2. Okay. And because we have different variable names for the identifiers, what we're going to do there for the primary keys is we're going to specify the primary key in both cases. Okay. Now I'm going to just do it that way and see does it work. Okay. It does work. I'm going to put in a little print command there. Just to see what it looks like. Essentially, uh, when you run something like that in these Jupyter notebooks, the output doesn't get printed. So essentially, we have a case ID in both data table one and data table two. Okay, so we've got the x variable, uh, the x value and the y, uh, z values for both uh, cases that are mentioned in DT1 and DT2. Okay, now I'm going to sort of deliberately break things a bit because I, I feel like this should work, but it doesn't, do you know, because we specified it and I feel that that should work, but it doesn't. But there you go. Anyway, um, just for the sake of simplicity, what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to make it. ID from now on. So I'm just going to have ID for both cases. So what I'm going to do is to make my life simple, just change the name back up here to ID so that it is common in both cases. Which is a bit of a cheat, but there you go. So that should work now. Yeah, it works fine there. So there's a different approach to this. Okay. DT1, DT2. Oops. Now let's see what happens here. This is a different way of doing a join, and this is the special syntax used by data table. Okay, the merge function works fine, and if you're used to the merge function, just use the merge function. Okay, it's not the end of the world. So this is something very similar here, and it gets the same sort of output, uh, almost the same sort of output. Actually, it gives us additional values there. So what you put in here is no match equals zero. Okay. 
there we go that's also how to do an inner join with um data table okay so an inner join is basically the cases have to be appear in both tables so you just have to add in that no match thing okay so a left join it returns all observations from the left data set and the matching observations from the right data set okay so when you're using merge all dot x equals true just specify that there we go and that yeah that's how you do it okay so essentially what happens here is we have all the cases from a or data table one a to j and we if they have the values there from data table to they appear there if they don't we get NAs missing values okay so what I'm going to do here is actually attempt to do this uh, using the syntax so DT2 DT1 have I got that right let's print that uh, above it was X and Z and below it is Z and X okay so moving on right joins is something very similar it returns all the observations from the right hand side and the matched observations from the left hand side okay and we had something we saw something very similar here already okay so and we have all the observations from the DT2 in there okay and additionally if there's an information from DT1 which is the X variable here it's put in there okay so how do you do that so that is DT1 DT2 there we go now and then oh yeah let's print that out So there we have it again, and luckily it actually should be almost, yeah, it is actually identical, so it's not giving me a sort of un heart attack when it doesn't work. Okay, so that is it. Now, so finally, the full join, it requires, it just joins everything together and combines everything into one single data set, data table. So merge DT1, DT2, all equals true. Just bring everything in and put it together. And so we have missing values for Z for case A and B. And we have missing values for uh, K and L for X. Okay. So that is all of the merges and tables and so on. There's no, uh, there's no other way of doing that there. Like for the right join, left join and inner join.